Sorry, we're looping now. But I'm going to go back to the original thing. I'm going to hope. Because <laughs> I found a dock worker the first time. I forgot to... I think I might have seen one the second time, but forgot that I need, the reason why I wanted to deal with them. Is there like a rando wandering around? Ooh. Okay, there's no guard to get him or what? Oh, there he is. You're breaking quarantine? Punchy, 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 punchy. That guy's walking straight through that plague and he doesn't even know it. Thankfully, I can sell drugs and stuff like that for a decent boost of uh, income. And I'll hopefully get paid as a result of this one, but it might. This might take a while. But headshots are supposed to work in this game. I'm gonna just load, pull this out right now and start reloading it. Oh, that guy's gonna have a bad time. Headshots are supposed to work in this game, which should mean one shot, one kill. If I can line them up right. Which is almost manageable. I still have to deal with the fact that there's a fucking horde of them. Hey, there's a guy that could have also helped me. There's so many of them that reloading takes an eternity that I got- that's not great news. I also don't know if just the process of trying to fight them will, like, make the entire weapon degrade to the point of it being a problem. I don't know. All I know is I don't want to spam too many quick saves here, because each time I do another weird little side trip and so on, I'm then, uh... Every time I do another little side trip, I, uh... I'm losing my previous stuff, and I'm also losing more time, so I'm gonna make another manual save. We'll get this gun out. There's a stealth thing, isn't there? Sneak. Left shift. Right control. It's shift? You can see why I'd forget that. Shift is a weird button to go with. Okay. It's a gun, though, so I'm not really having a lot of faith in that. Um... Do I, not, do I have to not have the gun out? What the fuckity? What? What? Ah, no, no, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to give up now. That was a shit show. I couldn't figure out why the door wouldn't open, and then it caught me by surprise, and the gun wasn't out, and then I... Then I got stuck with the fact that you press tab to open your weapon and shift to crouch, which everyone who's used a Steam game is probably thinking, oh, I know what he did, because shift, because shift tab is the Steam interface hotkey. It's not really what you want to generally be pressing. Okay, this is going really poorly. <laughs> I'm so fucked. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? I can kind of see it happening better if I had, like, the drop on them or something. Or if, if, I, if we were in public, maybe I could keep running backwards enough that I could deal with them. But at the moment, it seems like really poor chances. I have a lot of bullets, but that's not really doing it for me. Did I not repair? I thought I repaired these. Oh, fuck me. Ugh, I hit the X, didn't I? Ah. I am a wreck, evidently. I apologize to everyone. I totally did, didn't I? I hit the X instead of the little thing. Those were like some kind of interface feedback or even like a sound effect for the menu would kind of help confirm that you've done what you mean to do. But instead we kind of like scrabble around for the button and press the button and then kind of hope for the best with that stuff.
You're not supposed to be out here. See, my stuff's gone. That means I did it this time, damn it. <laughs> So I still haven't learned I still haven't experienced what a repaired gun feels like because I think every single time I've gone in there I've either forgotten to repair it or I tried to repair it and then like didn't press the button correctly because I'm just such a mega genius that that's apparently how I do good job me why are they hanging rats maybe maybe that's just part of the deterrent process on some level just seems like not the best call to be like, this is the plague area, stay out. Also, we made the wall out of plague. I'm like, uh, aren't you just making it worse then? Let's just overwrite that save. God damn it. No, 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 God damn it. <laughs> There's so many of them. Uh, I need to line up my saves, my light, my, uh, I need to line up my headshots better. I thought that if I went, went in crouching, they might not immediately see me, but they seem to immediately turn around anyway. Is there, and it's, it's a, like a, the whole environment is like one continuous, like, lane, so it's not really... Good for maneuvering. Ow. Haha! I'm learning how to do a combat, motherfuckers. All of them. That went way better. Holy crap. Money. Money. I learned I, I learned it. I figured out how to line up my headshots. I got my weapon repaired. Found the maneuverability to run around them. Am I out of inventory space? Is that a thing? Is that what happened? I can't carry any more lockpicks? Get rid of that get rid of this bullet then. It's just one shotgun round, and I don't even have a shotgun. I guess each of these tabs is a, is a separate inventory that caps out. Which means that my drugs are capped out now, too. So maybe use up that twirene. Yeah, I capped out. I beat them. I beat them all. And now the game's full of people- now the game's happy with me. Right? Where's my... Reputation's up top, right. Okay, so reputation's maxed out again. Killed a lot of thugs just now. Got some money out of it. Six grand already without even getting my reward. Cool. That was Villains at Liberty. Let's see. I think I'm supposed to go meet, talk with Grief now, right? They're reloading to do? Nope. Well, the gun's effective. Uh, weapon. Oh, durability 10%. Okay. So yeah, one fight like that and the gun is gone. It's gonna cost me like another 2,000 just to do that repair again. Still though, not bad. It got me six grand off the bodies. And if grief is good for his word, which who knows, uh, then I can get that money off of him. And then Sabarov's supposed to pay me. He said he was going to pay people per kill. And did he say was did he, didn't he did he say an amount? I feel like he said an amount too. That was big. So I might have a comical amount of money all of a sudden. Actually, I'm cool with that. 
I'll make use of it. Convenient for the game to give me an entire place full of people that are all like, we love stabbing people. It's okay to murder us. Do they have knives? You liar. They can't touch knives. A part off sent to the well is broken at last. It's over, grief. Your former buddies are no more. Now that's what I call a job well done, Doc. I'll remember not to get on your bad side. You promised me something. My word is solid. I promise I'd shower you with gifts, so I will. Here are them monies. Don't grieve for a grief. Your money will find its way back to you in no time. Ten thousand. Fuck, I have sixteen grand. I have a Sabarov, huh? No follow-up dialogue. That's weird, right? I assume I go back to Sabarov, even though it doesn't say to. But where's the... That's the death house I'm supposed to die in? I can go to that next and see if, see if I stand a chance or not. Worth a shot, right? Might get paid even more for going in there. And then I'm all supplied up. The amount of... The difference between how much stuff I had at the beginning of yesterday and how much I have now is actually like kind of... Kind of seems major. Uh, eight o'clock. I need to talk to... Oh, I still need to check out both of those properties, right? Not talk to somebody about it? Is there a store nearby where I can buy clothes? That's food. I may want to buy clothes if I'm going into a plague house. Eh, I'm over it. That house right there, apparently. Oh, well, uh, he kind of stands out a bit, doesn't he? I guess that gives it away. Hello, creepy man. Are you the one of the death-seeking death subjects here to try the pharmaceutical drugs? Yes, that's me. The procedure is simple. I let you in and wait for an hour. The time is known to be enough to uh, <clears throat> be certain. You have the pills? Yes. Immunity boosters, boosters or antibiotics? Both. Take the boosters first. Just be careful, they're deadly in large doses. Sooner or later you'll start to feel dizzy, and those are the first symptoms of the disease. Eventually the fever will become unbearable. That will be the disease entering its critical phase. I know that. The latent stage is not life-threatening, but in such an environment, where one will breathe the disease and absorb it through the pores constantly, the infection will progress rapidly. Take the antibiotics, then. They'll kill off the bacterium when it propagates too much. Are you trying to lecture me on microbiology? No, no, no need for that. I'm simply summarizing what we managed to learn after the first outbreak. And in the last few days. I hope luck is on your side. Nothing is- luck has nothing to do with this. If anything, I think this is tr the game training me. I need to take as many immunity stimulants as I can handle. Having done that, I will be able to survive in an infected house for at least an hour, provided I have enough antibiotics, of course. Yeah, I think they're basically... I think they're basically training you on the concept of how to do, deal with the drugs via this mission. Which is admittedly optional. It's antibiotic. Immunity booster. We'll see how much I can get away with here. Antibiotic. Immunity bo booster. Uh, let's get some food real quick. Uh, immunity is like halfway up. Immunity is higher, not that much higher though. Health took a hit.
Immunity is maxed out. Damn. And health's not that much lower. One hour. Fuck this place. Okay, 1951. I guess I'll just stand here. I don't want to like, find anyone in here and get aggro or something. Immunity's staying there. Immunity hasn't taken a hit yet. This is going to take a while. Uh, is that gonna attack me? No, 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 no. Oh, that's creepy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Immunity's still up there. Being chased around the house by a sentient plague. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> this is the strangest video game. The funny thing is that I think the plague has to chase me on foot. Like it's a NPC. It's pretty amusing to me. Oh god. You coming after me? Immunity is still up there. No infection. Stay input. You you one of the static ones? Uh, we're half an hour in. No infection yet. Here it comes again. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh shit, I'm stuck. No! No! Ah. Oh. Do I have an infection though? I can't tell. My immunity did take a hit. I got stuck. That sucked. Oh, it's gonna go through the wall. Shit, I thought I had to go around stuff a little bit more than that. Haha! <laughs> it appears to have not affected me yet. I heard a sound, though. That sound didn't sound good. I might be infected now, but not really infected. Twenty minutes to go, I think. It was nineteen fifty one, right? Oh, it's coming. It's coming after me again. <laughs> it chases you around the house, what the fuck? <laughs> Video games are weird, you guys. Who knew that the Black Plague was basically just like 28 days later, you just run away from the plague like, Oh, you can't get me, plague! <laughs> Am I infected? I can't tell. I don't see any infection on it, but it seems to be... I made it, I heard a sound happen and it definitely caught me, but maybe it just took a hit. It might have just taken a chunk out of my immunity, and my immunity was so high that I didn't take uh, any damage. I'm squinting at the very end of the meter, trying to tell if I'm imagining that there's a tiny little pixel of red or not. They haven't come back in again. Seems safe for the moment. 
I don't know if I teleport out or have to run back out. Oh, here it comes. Okay. The room over here. Going. I'm just gonna go back to the front door and see if he lets me out. Oh, that sounds like it's time. Fuck. Oh, that's infection. Fuck. Shit. They blocked the stairs. How do I leave this place? Ah, uh, it's the screaming person. How do I leave? How the fuck do I leave? Oh no, I've got so much in- oh, what the fuck? I don't know how the- I don't know the layout of this place. Is this the place? There we go. Hi. Ah, right? Hi. Unbelievable, you managed to come out of there alive, you sly devil. Let me take a closer look, will you? Show me your pupils. Stop trying to be funny, there's no one here who could check my condition better than me. Duties, duties. We're all bound to, uh, by our duty. I was tasked with giving you this drug. Use it as, uh, as intended. Just make sure you can afford to t uh, to do that. It takes a great toll on the body. Make sure you're neither wounded nor bleeding, yada yada. I know, give it to me now. The immunity is down-ish. My infection's low. Should probably save it and take it later, right? I have a schmouter. Cool. My immunity took a hit. Ow. How's my health? Fine. That's a uh, immunity booster. Alright. Immunity's up. Health is fine. I need to check out these two places I have the keys for. Oh boy. I'm just making another new- I'm making a lot of new saves today. Three hours till midnight, and then I fail anything that I haven't succeeded at yet. Goody 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 goody. And my exhaustion's coming in just to add to the pile. Fun, fun, fun. And the stabby people are gonna come out soon, so that's extra fun. In fact, they're probably out right. That is that him? Maybe. They're probably out right now. I'm hearing nighttime sounds in the game, the crickets and stuff. Things, were, things went all right until that one damn one was in the fucking doorway I had to go through. Ah. Is it true you've ordered to arrange the morgue in the town theater? A hospital kind, sir. A hospital. Please do come in. The facility is ready to be examined. Is the supply of spring, spring water constant? You're welcome to check it yourself, honorable bachelor. You're welcome. Clean up the facility, and order the delivery of anything that the hospital attendants might require. Did I, did I do it then? Is that how, how I was supposed to do that? Let's see. Testing the drugs is done. That's not said as being done yet. Blockaded district. I don't know. I don't know what that quest is. I, I don't know where to go for the blockaded quest. It seems kind of low priority at this point. So we're done here? So, Cathedral's the other stop, but you're the one to talk to about the murder- the crime spree situation. I can probably make it to both without that much trouble. I should probably talk to you to make sure I can seal in the reward, then come back this way, because I can turn- I can deal with the Cathedral, then come in to sleep. Unless I have to turn that one in afterwards, in which case, uh, who the fuck knows. This is why we make manual saves, in case it all goes wrong. Also, people have mentioned coffee, but I don't think I've ever seen coffee in this game. Coffee is supposed to be a way of staving off exhaustion, which makes sense. I feel like I've never seen coffee ever, though. So I've got that going for me, yeah! No murderers yet? Night's off to a positive start. Oh, you're not supposed to be out here. You're not supposed to be out here. Can't go this way. Almost fell for it again, the awkward blockage path.
Sometimes I just, just want to sit silently and listen to that music. Then I walk across a moat or something and it transitions and I'm like, oh, I like that. Just the combination of chanting and drums with very occasional other sounds. It's so sparse that it actually just generally works. Yo, bro. Yes. The barber's lair is destroyed. Everyone I found there was dead. Good, we shall root out crime with extreme prejudice. That won't be enough. Many say there are now hundreds of robbers. That one in five leaves their home ni uh, knife in hand at night. They're driven to this by despair and lack of order. There are plenty of bad examples turning f town folk into killers. Fear shall be our weapon. When those family men see how mercilessly we deal with murderers, they'll think twice before touching a knife. If only it were that simple. I wish to reward you, your, reward your heroism. I hope you will accept this money. Perhaps it will be at least partially, uh, will at least partially compensate the unavoidable expenses that come with your dangerous work. Yes, I will. 5,000. He gave me less. Still, I got like, I was, I basically had no money. I, I had like 200 when I went into that building. And now I have, yeah, 21,000. 6,000 from the enemies themselves, 5,000 from him, and 10,000 from grief. So I'm getting paid more by the criminal element than I am by the people that actually send me to deal with the problem in the first place. My primary payment of taking out a, bun a bunch of stabby men is not from the government rewarding me for my service, but from the rival gang being happy that they're out of the way. Rival gang being a slightly odd read, admittedly, because they were kind of the same gang. gang. They're defectors of the same gang. Alright, so... Dealt with that, dealt with that. Dealt with that, dealt with that, dealt with that. Dealt with that. Dealt with that. It's a long day, by the way. That's been dealt with. I need to go to the, the cathedral, and then... Either they send me back around in a circle to turn the quest in, or I can then go to sleep. Just barely in time, too. It's not been an easy day. I play this game in a continual state of stress. <laughs> Not a complaint either. Generally happy with games I constantly have to pay attention to and can't really do anything mindlessly. What helps here is that the game just doesn't really have a lot by ways of filler. You're always on a quest, you're always running to the next spot. Every second you waste will have consequences. Uh, at most, the filler is just the busy work of, like, the survival game elements, where you're gathering things for the purpose of trading, and trading things for the purpose of getting more supplies. But that's all a constant busy work of, like, oh, am I, am I, can I get the stuff I need? And there's, a, there's, like, a suspense to it. And a routine. And it makes sure that you're doing more than just walking around flatly, doing nothing else along the way. Which is pretty much the alternative. I also like that the enemies are optional. There's a, there's either quests that have enemies in them as a part of the actual story of the quest, or you walk into an area and there are just uh, how do I put it? Uh, there's just enemies around. And you technically can kill them for stuff that's useful to you, or you can run away from them, because they don't give you experience. At most, you might get supplies off of them, and sometimes if you kill them before they... If you get them in time for when they kill somebody, but before they do, do the uh, looting, you might even get stuff off the person they killed. But they don't give you experience. There's no leveling in this game. But it is an RPG. Whether people... Okay, thanks for your help. Let's see. Did I sell the twirin? I don't know. Eh, I'll hold on to it. I was somewhat tempted to sell the twirin because my... I believe my drug screen is full right now. 
I'm a little concerned about that, but I might encounter... People have brought up Twyreen in, in dialogue before. There might be a quest where somebody... We're getting somebody Twyreen helps. It's kind of one of a kind, and I don't really know if there's even more drugs to fill that menu with, or if I have them all. In which case, fill, uh, emptying a slot is pointless, but I would be inclined to think that that's probably not how it works. You, you're the other. You're not the same person as last time. Is there really a spring with drinking water inside? Yes, two even. I think it's going to be very crowded here soon. Do you know that there has been some strange sabotage? Someone ruined the town's water supply, and drinking from the river doesn't feel safe nowadays. Hmm. You can let people inside until we st start getting the first potentially infected. I forbid entry after that. What the f fuck? Getting kicked out to that sound is a weird feeling. Alright. Uh... Oh boy. I think I have to run to old Gimski then. Uh, Northern Gate? I'm gonna give them that sound for. I'm going for I'm going for the northern gate. I'm gonna hope for the best. Shit. Makes sense. I got two keys. I've inspected the two locations, so now I have to take the keys to Ogimski to turn it in. Like, that makes some sense. But I'm just like, I'm... Dude, I'm out of day. Please. Let the game... Let the... Let, let the day end. Ogimski? My. Isidora's death was so untimely. He would have known what to do. That was a man like no other. I'm done. The cathedral will serve as an isolation ward. The theater has become a hospital. The morgue will be located in a remote warehouse. You've done my yesterday's work, haven't you, doctor? I have done what had to be done to thwart the danger. I don't know if there is a point to it, though. The absolute mortality rate is generally recognized fact. Victor, dare I say, has been endeavored to prove it. Did you know? Yes, that's exactly what I've been working on. Yes. There is n one... There is no one to cure. The only thing we can do is trying to keep those who have dodged... <clears throat> dodged the scythe safe. An isolation ward could have been useful, but... They say the sand dirt has rather unusual means of spreading. Is it true that it bites you as soon as you allow yourself to think about it? No, that's absolute rubbish. Rubbish. Is that so? Anyway, dear bachelor, I have a confession to make. You've given me enough hints to show that you already have a suspicion. It's hard, but I cannot allow myself to remain silent. I'm a generally suspicious person, you know. Speak. Confession's good for the soul. The disease has infiltrated the termitary. I'm still keeping it locked up. It used to be requisite to keep the disease out, and now I want it in, lest it spill into the streets. And I think you can fathom what that would entail. Tomorrow we'll have a talk. I want to see it in person. And that's that. Is day quest over? Yeah! Everything's done. I did a lot. Look at how much text there is. I did a lot. A blockaded district is a question mark. I genuinely don't know what that quest is. It just gives me the vague hint of, you should get a looter's stuff. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? And the game offers no additional information. And the map is devoid of what? It's not midnight yet. Why is the entire map gone? Oh. Oh. Okay. I think I get it. An issue I've kind of taken with this game is that it's a little frustrating that objectives will stay on your map well beyond the point where they're relevant anymore. 
But it might be that they stay on the map just for the purpose of showing you all the relevant NPCs for that quest so that if you want to backtrack to a particular one, you can for more information and stuff like that. That might be what's going on. It's still a little frustrating that every your current objective and relevant objectives are all equally a red hand. Uh, would be kind of handy if, if when you progressed, some of the objectives became like outdated, like maybe a darker, like uh, like less saturated red to indicate that that's no longer a current. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Now I'm gonna be trapped on this. There's another, there's another bridge over here. It'd be cool if they de-emphasized the ones that you're not currently needing to do, so you could more easily spot the ones you still need to do. Uh oh. Quick save. That'd be handy. That's a gun. Oh boy. I'd rather not waste a bullet if I don't have to, though. Can he throw a second attack, or does he only throw the first one and then he just keeps trying to stab me? Because at this rate, I can probably... Oh, there's another one. God damn. I think that's me being in an exhaustion mode. I just need to get to that door. Just that door. Without taking a hit. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah. Freedom. Now I can just deal with trying to sleep, which... That exhaustion meter is up there. A busy goddamn day.